<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Rusty Studios where today I'll be reviewing two customs instead of one because you really can't have one of these guys without the other. Race Damage Todd Marcus and Race Damage Claude Scruggs. These two appeared in Cars 1 during the Dynacos All Mine scene in which Claude Scruggs in the middle of all the chaos manages to come to a complete stop with Octane Gain. So Octane Gain is driven away by some other Piston Cup racers. This leads Clyde to look to his side, and the next thing he knows, he's upside down on the roof of Todd Marcus. This is a really iconic scene, and Mattel has acknowledged it. They planned on making a race damage look less than a race damage no stall racer, but ended up canceling it. However, these two have gotten a two-pack together, even if they weren't race damaged. It did have the an image of the scene from where they were in Dynacos All Mine Crash. And that said, let's start the review with Todd Marcus. Now the most obvious change is the expression, because in the movie, he is looking up at Claude Scruggs, he's very scared. But on his original die cast, he's only really looking to the side, nothing too interesting. But I wanted to make the customs as movie accurate as possible, so what I did was paint the eyes white. Um, give him some red eyelids, and a black outline around the eyes, because a lot of people seem to like that. So when I first started customizing, I started with some small scratches, some black paint on the front, the hood, and on the back of the car. There's a lot of paint and scratching on the roof because Todd Marcus was upside down on top of his roof. And my favorite part has to be the sides because all that yellow and red paint from the other racers in the crash. Like, I'm just really happy with how that turned out. You can also see that his wheels are bent sideways a bit. So whenever he's sitting straight down, it looks like he's tilting. And now here's a quick 360 degree comparison of the two. Here's a regular Todd Marcus. Yeah, this one looks newer, shinier, and he does have more of a shiny finish rather than a matte finish. Moving on to Claude Scruggs, I did a similar thing with the eyes and the expression where I painted over them. Made him look like he was looking up, well, upside down. And this time I painted over his mouth because his normal expression just didn't look scared enough. On the hood, you can see the Leak Less logos are almost completely gone. A little bit more scratching than paint right here. On his sides, there's lots of paint from other Piston Cup bracers. And on the back too, lots of the yellow paint being exposed underneath the black paint. On his roof, since the most damage was done by Todd Marcus, there's lots of red paint. All four of his wheels are also pointing downwards because when he was upside down, he kind of had his tires in the air. Really shows how scared he was. And for a comparison, um, I, I think I would say about the same things that I would with regular Todd Marcus and the custom race damage Todd Marcus. The... Non-customized one looks very shiny, brand new. Because the regular one looks shiny and new, while the customized one looks like he's been in the crash. And these two were really fun to remake scenes with, like the scene where McQueen... Well, I don't have McQueen with me, but just pretend it's McQueen. Like the scene where McQueen jumps on Claude Scruggs' tires and over the finish line. And of course, this scene. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment which of these customs is your favorite. Thanks for watching.